Somalia's Judicial Service Council plays a key role. The nine-member council oversees the administration of justice and the appointment of judges. But in a presidential decree, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud says it has no legal basis and must be dismissed. This decree dismisses the Judicial Service Council, for it is not in line with the Constitution. It doesn't, however, affect the Attorney General and the Chief Justice. This is an issue that is constitutional, and the President has powers to do so. Somalia's top judge disagrees. There is this decree from the President that orders the dismissal of the Judicial Council. Actually, dismissal is not constitutional. If there are parties that have done wrong, there are ways to replace them, but you cannot dismiss. There are three arms of the government, the Judicial Council, the Council of Ministers, and the Parliament. None of them can be dismissed. The Judicial Council was set up under the charter adopted in 2004 that established the former transitional federal government. Last July, Parliament passed a law to replace it with the Judicial Service Commission. So who has the mandate to dismiss the Judicial Service Council? That is a question that forms the basis of yet another tug of war between the executive and the judiciary. The country is still recovering from decades of war and only recently regained functioning institutions. Still, Somalia goes to the vote in just under two years. It must make political inroads such as revising the constitution. And at the moment, it's a question of whose interpretation of the current constitution is correct. The president, all the judges, Mohammed Irmoge, CCTV, Mogadishu.